We got ourselves a bunch of bison bed down up here ahead of us, about 180 yards. We're trying to sneak up on them here. And see what we what kind of damage we can do. We're up here in the Yukon. And uh, we're just working our way around this lake. And just spotted these guys up here taking a break. So let's we'll see how close we can get to them. We're about 170 yards out right now. Got a great wind. Get up by this tree. We'll take a. Yeah, they're still there. I like to try and get close enough to use the rhino on them. Have to get within about 80 yards. So let's we'll see when we get up to these uh, pine trees right up ahead of us. See what happens there. This brush, I think they call it grizzly brush or something like that. Awfully crunchy stuff. Although, according to my noise meter, we're not making it a lot of noise, but it sure sounds loud. What I do is I'll mark those things and then I set my waypoint down. You can see it there on the screen. And that gives me an ongoing measurement of how close I'm getting. So right now I'm 146 and counting down. And it looks like we're going to make it up to this first row of pine trees. here to this next one and then we're going to we get down about 100 yards we're going to take another peek I mean I'm plenty close enough now I could use the 300 on them but I get a couple extra bullets with the rhino and if it's close enough range why I only need one bullet for bison rhino to bring them down I think we're gonna pop up and try and take a little peek here. Yeah, they're still there. Looks like I got so much brush. It'll be hard to, to see them unless I can get up to this next row of trees. Try that. I can get a clear shot. Right now, we're just going to cut loose on them. Dang it, don't look like we're going to have a clear shot, though. Fuck. Can't see nothing.
They may be on the other side of a hill. I don't even know. Hard to tell by the angle. There's one I can actually see fur on. Well, they should give me a warning call if they go to stand up. We just may have to start unleashing on them, but I'm going to try and get up here to these trees. This would be one of those cases if I had my my bow with me, be able to get a good shot with a bow. But I don't see any big males in this group, so it's not like there's there's one one certain one I'm after. too close though because then it gets really hard to move around. Yeah I should be able to get up here a little bit and still be under camouflage. Man. Just inside this tree and see what happens if I stand completely up. Oop, there you can see me. Yep, they're starting to stir. Where's the rhino at? 82. There they know I'm here. Chase is on. Good blood spot there. We got one down up here. Now we just keep pushing on. Got another one down. going to be low integrity shots now because I'm hitting everybody in the rear end. There's not any way you'd want to chase a possible diamond or something like that, but I forgot to reload that thing.
Just got to keep pushing them. Normally one or two of them will turn around and come back to get you. Slow you down a little bit. There's one going to come back and get me, I bet you. Come on, pistol, reload. Oh, here he comes. Now they probably had a chance to get away. That's normally what happens. One or two of them will come back and get you. And give the rest of them a chance to, to get away. We'll run this a little bit, but we'll go back and see if we left any bodies laying around. We still got blood. We got one, oh, there's one up here. I don't see anymore. Yeah, to get down in these trees, and it gets it's hard to see up ahead far enough to before you can get a shot at them. Yeah, we did pretty good. Let's go back and. Man, we still got one bleeding. What's he at? Oh, 75. That's just... He'll probably... He'll probably heal up. Oh, we left a little trail of purple along through here. Oh, there's one that was at zero. You better follow him. He'd be laying. He'd be laying up here somewhere. Oop! What happened there? Clicked on the wrong one. There's zero. Gotta make sure I stay on the yellow ones. We still got one uh, uh, still got one up here yelling at us looks like. Okay, where'd you go? go. Ow. Where you at? Down no, there you are. Oh man. Peppered that one a few times. That was probably the, yep, that was the one I was tracking because the blood is all gone, or the yellow is gone. That's the other bad thing about chasing them and shooting them, you know, you're always hitting, you're just shooting. Very seldom do you get them in the vitals.
Let's run back here and retrack our steps real quick. In case there's some other ones out there laying. But that's one way of going bison hunting. I kind of enjoy it at times. Like I say, it won't work for... Uh, if you see a possible diamond in there, you've got to go about it completely different. You just can't run them. Run them down, because a minute, if you don't hit a vital, you're not going to get a diamond. So, But if you can locate a herd of them, like I did there, and sneak up on them, why... I think we can head towards our marker now. See if we see if we had them. We got them all picked up. And of course, when you're chasing them and you're running and you're out of breath and your heart rate is up, so it's hard to get a good steady shot on them. You just got to keep firing at them. What I'm doing here is I'm just scouting for, scouting for blood. I think they ran, oh, what do we got here? Here we go. There's a 50 to 75. Let's see where he goes. I'm not seeing any blood from him now. He might already quit. He might already quit bleeding. And I've seen that happen. Yeah, no more blood from him. So we just forget about him then. did a pretty good job on, on picking these up. That's the kind of country, you get them out in the open, then it's really easy to chase them, because you can see him. Yeah, there's that one. That was that one we just checked. Uh, you can see him way off in the distance then.
But anyway, I think we pretty much we only got uh, we're gonna be back at the kind of back at our beginning here pretty quick. I think we pretty much got them all. So that's how. That's one of the ways I go. I'll, I'll run some buffalo or bison once in a while. And uh, the reason it. Those moose. The reason it works good on them is uh, they're just slow enough that you can keep up with them. There's a 75. We're not even going to bother chasing him. And. Uh, you can kind of do cape, the, the cape buffalo are a little bit quicker than the water buffalo. Biggest problem with them is trying to get them out enough, you know, open enough to where you can get a shot at, at them. But they're, they're a little faster. It's it's harder to do. You can do this with, with you, you can do this with the, uh, with the four wheelers too. Uh, and that's, that's fun. But uh, anyway. I'm going to cut this off here anyway, gang, so uh, uh, if you ever need some exercise uh, for an afternoon or something, you can always go out and chase these characters around for a while. And uh, So anyway, I, uh, good hunting, and uh, we'll talk to you later.